here we are with edge runner episode 9 so yeah if you like what you see leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what do you think and we'll say let's get to the episode Man, this is now very intense. Because we have only two episodes left, this one and the next one, and ending of last episode wasn't good at all. It was as bad as it could be. <clears throat> I mean, if the intro is anything to go by, he's like singing about this fire is burning and he's burning, and then as he breaks down, so maybe David will die if that's some if that's a hint, that would be bad. And then he gets shot. <laughs> oh my god! We will see. So we are the next day. A new job. Okay, this is bad. Or maybe it could be a flashback. I don't know. We have to see. Oh, they want to test the skeleton on him. Oh, she wants to protect him. I thought she did it to save her, like, because she is, like, followed. And my heart beat, dude. This sucks so much.
<clears throat> so it's not a flashback. It's the beginning. Mm-hmm. Is she coming around and tells them what's up or not? Man, I have the feeling for the worst right now with Lucy. I mainly feel bad for Lucy because David kind of did it to himself because he's chroming up and everything and gets psychosis and all that shit. He could not go down that way, but he is. <clears throat> but I mainly feel bad for Lucy. What the fuck, dude? Exactly my face, I guess. Oh my god. I kind of dislike that they have like no subtitles for the calls anymore in this episode. No one inside. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Leading him into a trap. Is the is the sand of us maybe the cyber skeleton they're talking about the whole time? Is that maybe it already?
He's not stopping right. She has a tongue? <sighs> Shit, man. <clears throat> I'm getting a really sick feeling right now. It's a trap. Is someone inside that comes out? Yeah, very suspicious, right? Right, very convenient. <clears throat> Is that Militech or? Yeah. Oh, this is a skeleton, and they. Oh, this might be the skeleton. That's what he uses to fight them off. Oh no, dude, this is bad.
the manipulator somehow. Is he talking maybe all through her or something? How convenient. How convenient. Dude, how is he supposed to take that? He's already like at the brink of cyber psychosis. And she knocks him out. Mm -hmm. Yes, fuck him up. She jumped out? Does she have a parachute? Don't tell me she's dead, dude. Okay. I mean, there must be something happening, right? Because there's one more episode left. And obviously there's... But will it be happy end or will it be complete shit show? This bitch.
And he becomes basically the weapon he saw. Where all the weapons come out of him. But how can he not go crazy from this? This is so much more than just a Sandivis and all the other shit he had. Maybe he, I mean, he could maybe probably just stomach it way better if he had like no other gear equipped, just this. <clears throat> oh my god. It just pumps in, it pumps in the me medicine shit. This is so bad, man. Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, I feel like I don't have much to say about this episode. Because, I mean, it's just a complete shit show. From the beginning when they had... From the beginning when this whole when the when the gig started I thought like okay so it's not a flashback but I had like then the idea maybe maybe it is a flashback right um but why so but yeah it wasn't a, it wasn't a flashback and it sucks already because that means the whole night and the next day now it's probably like he didn't he tried to contact Lucy but didn't because obviously she was indisposed. But instead of like trying to find Lucy, he is like, oh yeah, let's do this gig here. And but in the meantime, Lucy is like being kidnapped and all and chained up and everything. And then we find out how he got the gig and everything. And from the get go, I said, Faradine. From the moment I saw him in like episode 3 I think, I said, I don't trust this guy, I wouldn't trust this guy. He looks too much like a corpo. And it's true. And then we see that David is like completely messed up, right? Before the mission he has like all these mad, th mad things on his back, under his jacket that Becca saw. And then yeah, it turns out this whole thing was just a trap. And yeah, by coincidence, by coincidence, yeah, Kiwi sees all these informations and it's by coincidence, there's a skeleton inside and it's, this whole truck is made to install that thing, right? And no one is coming after you, except later Militech and all that stuff. Oh, how coincidental, right? That all this stuff adds up like this, right? And then yeah, he equips it obviously and we see like that Lucy got away but then Faradine gets after her and captures her again and stomps on her head. Man, that 
is so fucked up, man. I hate to see it so much. Because, like I said, I, I feel the worst for Lucy. I want the best for Lucy. I, David, I like him, right? I see where he's coming from, but everything bad that happens to him with the cyberpsychosis and all that shit basically happens because of himself. He wants to upgrade the whole time and chrome up and he saw what happened to main and all that stuff but he ignores it he thinks he's special and just chromes up the whole time and so if something bad happens to him that's on him right but here we have lucy and we find out why she was so mysterious and everything because she wants the best for david because she saw the information about david and that they kind of want him to as a test job subject for the skeleton and to avoid that that he gets captured from Arasako, that they are after him she tries to kill everyone that tries to to find him right that tries to like uh finds information and everything so sh to keep him safe she goes after everyone that is kind of like after him after the information and so it's it's just so bad man <clears throat> that Lucy basically sacrifices herself here and risks her life for David and he just kind of like throws his life away, right? So that's why I'm saying I like David, I see where it's coming from, but if something bad happens to him, that's on him. But Lucy, she doesn't deserve any of this. I just want the best for her. Now we have one more episode left and... David is like at the brink of completely going cyber psycho, I guess. He's completely glitching, and every time he's glitching, the cyber skeleton just pumps in more of that medicine shit to keep him sane. And just keeps pumping him with that shit, which can't be good for you. Um, and so now he has to fly all the way over to Night City, try to get Lucy out of that, and then how does it end? Does he get her out? But what happens? Is he dying from it afterwards when she's safe? Because it's just too much for him. Can he get out of it? And can and then maybe he really realizes, oh shit, this is too much. Maybe I can chrome down, right? So that I have, don't go cyber psycho. That maybe they can live a better life and maybe can get some money to go to the moon because the moon seemed to be a big part, right? They hinted at the moon multiple times, so. I don't see how they can tie up all of that in like one episode. Going from where we left off, now back to Night City, rescuing um, rescuing Lucy, get her out, wrap everything up that Paradine is dealt with, Arasaka is not after us anymore, Militech is out of the way, kinda, and it's not, and, and it's not after us, and uh, we can just get to the moon. I don't, I don't see that happening in one episode. That's too much stuff to wrap up, basically. Um, unless this episode is like extended length or something, which I don't think. Um, so yeah, I'm very curious to see where this is going. How this all ends. If there will be a happy end or if it will be a complete shit show. Um, if maybe David is dying but Lucy gets out. If Lucy is dying but David gets out. If both are dying somehow. If they can make it to the moon or something, it will be very interesting. The last episode now, but man. From like everything before episode 5, had pretty much good vibes, I would say. There were some up and downs and stuff, but had good vibes. And since episode 5, when Main died and everything, it was just a rocky ride and shit went down and down and down. While there was some good vibes in between, it, it pretty much went down the whole time. So yeah. Off to episode 10, we will see how it goes. Yeah, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment, let me know what you think. And I would say, thanks for watching, until next time. Bye-bye.